My name is Joshua Goldberg, and this piece of art behind me is called the South Star. It's a large-scale piece of uh, actually usually non-interactive LED art, which was specifically designed as Burning Man signage. And it's run by eight channels of audio from MSP. Like this. Hi, I'm Lewis Keller. This is my piece, Raining Partials. Uh, it's essentially, there's a very low fundamental sub-audio uh, phaser driving the whole thing. Each of the robots is then tuned to a subdivision poly rhythm of that fundamental. They're also each emitting a sine tone that's 11 octaves above that fundamental. So it's sort of trying to bridge the gap between our sensation of rhythm or pulse and our sensation of tone. Yeah, little knobs on each robot let me change which partial or which rhythm, which polyrhythm each robot's playing. Uh, whole thing's controlled by an Arduino microcontroller is the thing that uh, communicates with Max MSP. Super lame Max patch, but does what it needs to do. Hi, my name's Frida Avtan. Um, I'm a graduate student at Brown University in computer music and multimedia. Uh, my project is called Dreamscape, and effectively it concentrates on, on different temporal and spatial mapping strategies, um, some using pre-rendered video, some using different kinds of real-time processes to give video different kinds of physical, like to give video a kind of physics, to give it different kinds of phys physical affect. Oh, hello, my name is Sun Hyung Kim. I'm here to presenting my project called Image Phonic. And here I, um, you can see this documentation of my project, which is multi-sensory uh, multi installation and interactive art performance. So I worked with the dancers, so she's wearing this device. It has like color sensors, which detects um, color values and light intensity and um, it sends signal wirelessly to my computer through XP and MaxMSP uh, reads all the data and um, change the data from light and color into sounds. Hi, I'm Chris Lackey and I have created an application which I call Baila Zone, which is a Portuguese uh, rush translation for dance. And the idea was sort of a karaoke for the body in that you can follow along with the, uh, a silhouette that is, uh, that's that's been chroma keyed out. So you can have whatever video you want in the background or images. And it's sort of a, it was originally a way to, for me to get in shape, which hasn't worked yet, but uh, I hope, I'm hoping it will. Uh, basically, the idea is you can have as many different videos as you want um, of the motions. You can follow along if you want. You can do your own thing if you want. And the applications I see it for would be um, sort of a customizable workout kind of kind of uh, tape, if you will. That could be anything you want, uh, playing at different speeds with your favorite music, all that good stuff. As well as being able to learn things like martial arts moves or uh, different types of forms of martial arts or different types of other dance moves with hopefully with people that can actually dance a little better than I can. So that's the idea. It's very just sort of fun. Everything else is sort of a max stuff wrapped around it. And um, that's the general idea. I'd love to see it in schools also too as part of a physical education program. And I think kids would have a great time, you know, if it says, hey, act like a monkey for 16 beats. They all run around acting like monkeys. Oh, wait, here comes the, you know, act like a dragon or whatever. There you go. So get them up get it moving and hopefully have some fun while you're doing it. So thank you.